Jim Nance along with Trevor Immelman exclusively for CBSSports.com from Butler Cabin in Augusta where just a short while ago John Rahm was presented the green jacket. His second major title. He wins by four shots in the end over Brooks Kepka and Phil Mickelson who rallied in the fourth round. It was a long day around here as Kepka and Rahm started out on the seventh green at 8.30 this morning. Had to play 30 holes mm -hmm. to get to the finish line. But Rahm overtook him and played that last nine really flawlessly to win the green jacket. Yeah, he sure did. It was a bit of a roller coaster this morning. Kepka holding the lead. Did you remember the first major that John Rahm won at the U.S. Open? Came from three behind. So he was in familiar territory at a major championship. And did he play some incredible golf on that second nine. Really from the birdie at eight. All the way up at the green, great up and down, started to edge his nose in front, and the second nine was just absolutely clinical. Did everything that he needed to do. He becomes the fourth Spaniard to win this tournament. He wins on Seve's birthday. He wins on April the 9th, which uh, the last time that the Masters was uh, a Sunday finish on April the 9th, it was another Spaniard. It was Sergio Garcia's turn to win the green jacket. So there was a lot of context there. And for John, mm. at 28 years old, this is a guy that's been playing some incredible golf since the start of the year. What does this do for him? Where does he go from here? Well, he really has been on such an incredible run. This is his fourth win this year. And I found it quite ironic. We see Scotty Scheffler giving him the green jacket, also giving him his world number one mantle. <laughs> and so uh, Ram has taken both of those from him this week. But it's going to be an incredible rest of the year to see just how all of these top players work out. But Ram leaves here with a green jacket and all the momentum in his favor. Boy, it was an emotional day here, I and mean, the crowd was so behind Rom. Uh, the showering of love and appreciation for that performance was memorable. I know it wasn't close in the end, uh, even with a remarkable up and down at 18. Um, he finished in style with a sevy like par, as even he said during the presentation. Uh, a special day around here. Love sharing it with you, Trevor. Really did. It was absolutely my pleasure. What an amazing day of golf we got to witness. Well, listen, we'll uh, see everyone next week from Sea Pines and Hilton Head as uh, we'll continue our golf coverage next weekend with full coverage. But uh, for the moment, it's all about John Rahm and golf. He is world number one. But even bigger than that, he is the Masters champion 2023. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.